Hey guys, how are we? It is freezing over here, absolutely freezing. So we've had a bit of a northern uh, breeze come through and uh, oh man, it's, uh, it's turned from a beautiful weekend into uh, icicles. <laughs> so anyway, um, just got word that um, Victoria, uh, the Premier there, which is basically the equivalent of a governor, um, has just gone for sweeping uh, authoritarian powers. Basically, what he's doing is um, he's wanting to go for um, powers where he doesn't need to have the um, consultancy or the agreement from the rest of the parliament to instigate emergency powers in Victoria. So that basically means that he can have lockdowns whenever he wish, wishes to, and um, basically means that he can uh, rule indefinitely because uh, during a state of emergency, you don't have to hold elections. So this is particularly concerning and um, in regards to uh, civil stability, I would imagine that there'll be some sort of uh, massive civil unrest before long. And that seems to be the word that I'm getting uh, from different people at the moment. Now, I've been saying for a while that I don't particularly like being um, political. Now, I have no interest in being political at all. I would sort of say, though, that uh, if you're stuck in that situation, it would be highly advisable for you to leave as soon as you can. And I know uh, Die Hard, uh, died in the wall, true blue Australians will say, uh, yeah, I'm not leaving and I'm not, uh, I'm not giving up. But uh, at what point do you sort of call it quits and say, you know, enough is enough? Um, Australia is absolutely a beautiful place, there's no two ways about it, but Australia is lost and really the Australia that people are talking about no longer exists. So Australia is lost and uh, it's, uh, it doesn't exist anymore, so in that aspect I I'm glad that I'm, uh, I'm out of there and people go, good, don't come back. Don't worry, I'm not coming back anytime, anytime soon. So um, you've got it all to yourself. You're gonna have your Dan Andrews and uh, your totalitarian regimes uh, all to yourself. And uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna come back and try and buy property. Um, you can have that overpriced property, property all to yourself as well. So there's big problems there, and as I say to uh, people, if you um, if you want a nice life, you want to go to uh, where you can have your best life. Heaps of opportunity around the world. You just basically have to decide what uh, place is best for you. You can basically uh, see yourself as a global citizen, enjoy all that the world has to offer, not just one country. And um, if you want to, um, if you want to uh, basically enjoy um, the best that different countries have, then it's all open to you. So there's different uh, ways to set up your affairs. Uh, basically, what uh, what they say in short is uh, own nothing, control everything. And uh, that is the best way to set up your uh, affairs, trust me. So uh, there are legal ways to reduce your tax liability. And um, there's legal ways to have a fantastic life. Uh, enjoy the best that the world has to offer, rather than uh, have somebody try and dictate what you can and can't do, when you can do it, when you can't do it. I think really where things are going in Australia is towards the digital ID, which passes tomorrow. Um, and digital ID is going to usher in a new thing 
called uh, future state. The future state is basically going to be linked to your digital ID. It's going to contain all of your financial details as well as your medical details, uh, your biometric data. And then basically what they're going to do is share that information with private corporations. Basically the merger of state and corporate power is called fascism. And uh, most Australians don't know history and so they're completely unaware of uh, where things are heading. So be very cautious about this. This is not some sort of um, conspiracy theory. This is uh, basically uh, you know, stated fact that if the websites are there, all the information is there. You just got to know where to look for it. And um, I'll put some links in the description for this video and you can look at it yourself. So it's digitalid.gov.au and then basically uh, have a look at that and search on Google for uh, Future State. Future State is basically an organisation run by the Reserve Bank of Australia. All the banks have worked together to basically put together a, uh, this new sort of um, foundation or financial framework which uh, is going to plug into your digital ID. So uh, be very cautious of this. This is not um, anything that's good. I mean, they sort of bang on, it's going to save you time. And, uh, you know, for Joe Blogs, and uh, he's rather than have to um, drive six hours to uh, fill out a uh, Centrelink form, he's going to be able to do it online. Seriously? If you're prepared to relinquish your uh, freedoms and liberties and information to save yourself a couple of hours, you deserve what you get. So I have no sympathy for you at all. <laughs> so at the end of the day, have a look at Future State. It plugs into Digital ID. I'm sure you probably haven't heard of it, but uh, Future State's where it's at. Future State will erode your... Um, will erode your freedoms and liberties. And Future State is basically going to um, bring in a uh, carbon credit system. You mark my words. So uh, Future State is basically going to bring in your carbon, uh, consum carbon consumption. And when you see uh, that you no longer can uh, travel on an airplane because this month's carbon consumption, you've used too much electricity, you bought a new computer and the uh, carbon that was used to manufacture that computer has basically used up all of your carbon credits for the month, so you're stuck. That's where it's going and uh, this is not good. So um, I certainly would advise you to start seeing yourself as a global citizen, start uh, looking at opportunities to spread your risk and uh, put yourself in a position where you can freely move wherever you want to go, whenever you want to go, however you want to go. So anyway, just a quick uh, thought from me. I uh, just wanted to address that, but yeah, this stuff that is happening in um, Victoria around Daniel Andrews going for uh, basically com complete power and control. Um, so. Parliament will have no, no checks and balances anymore. That's the big problem. And so that's where it's going. But anyway, hope you're well. If you're in um, Melbourne or Victoria, please stay calm and uh, plan your move. I think from the 1st of um, November, things open up. But if you're unvaccinated, you... Uh, you need to apply for your travel exemption. So um, anyway, stay calm, get your plan together and start moving. All right, guys, hope you're well.